democracies of the world. I know a lot of Nigerians will want to understand what exactly uh, the American election or American electoral process is all about. Similarly, very, very technical. But just in a layman language, on a simple term, some over 500 people will go to Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States. Those they call the Electoral College. They are delegates from political parties elected to represent each of the states based on the number of uh, votes allotted to each state. They would go together and at the end of the day cast the votes. They actually cannot do more than what the popular votes uh, in each of the states uh, uh, stand. Uh, I mean, what their popular votes in, in, in their state. So they will come together and cast the vote. So uh, about 8 p.m. tomorrow uh, in the United States, local time here, we will start to know who is leading or who is winning. There are several polls, of course, in the United States. Of course, uh, some of them are saying the DNC candidate, the Republican candidate are leading. So different opinions here and there. But that's exactly how it's perhaps going to pan out tomorrow. Remember, Suleiman, on Friday, voting, early voting ended in the United in most of the state. About over 30 states in the United States are engaged in um, early voting, but that closed on Friday to resume again. The voting proper will resume on uh, Tuesday, that is tomorrow, a few hours before now. It will uh, I mean, open at 7 a.m. and expectedly to close at 8 p.m. Suleiman. Thank you very much, uh, Sean Kibalu. We will get back to you uh, for more updates uh, on the election in the United States. Uh, good to have you uh, join us on uh, politics today. Uh, we we'll still have uh, with us here uh, Chris Wokobia. A, a whole lot. One of the issues he touched on uh, uh, just uh, faintly is uh, the issue of absentee voting and uh, even the battleground states. Let's look at absentee voting because these are some of the things uh, we're quite, that, that are strange in our electoral lexicon in Nigeria. No, the, the interesting thing is that that's exactly what he was trying to say about when he talked about early voting. You know, uh, people across the world, Americans across the world, cast they began voting about three weeks ago. You know, and people turn out and um, they cast their ballots and it's held on, and and that ended about two days ago, yesterday, two days ago. Yeah. Uh, but there's something, and it's correct. Uh, I think that's where um, the listeners at home would have to get this right. Um, the electors do not meet to vote. The, the truth is that what the states have their different normative in voting. Um, there are states that uh, if you vote, a state like Nebraska, Nebraska for instance, yeah. if you vote um, and a candidate sweeps the popular vote in Nebraska, all he gets is one, one uh, elector, one electoral vote. But in a state like Texas, if you win by a margin of 0 0.5, you win the total 27 electoral votes. They, they, they actually wouldn't come to Washington uh, or New York or wherever to vote again. The truth is that states have their different, the state of Maine and the state of Nebraska have different normative. But the truth, the, when you win popular votes in most of the American states, it obviously means that you have won the total number of electors. Mm -hmm. And that cuts across, like he noted, in Wisconsin, it's about 10 electors. Yes. You know? So what happens in America, actually, some have debated that uh, they should throw it away and use the popular system. But the truth is that America is saying that it shouldn't matter whether you're a small state or you're a big state. What should count is the, the amount of effort you put in those states. And in America, you have 15 swing states. Absolutely. You know, and those states are strong in terms of the number of electors. And that was what Obama, the smart campaign uh, engineering that he deployed in 2008, used. And that was what, again, he did in 2012. And oftentimes, when people observe what obtains in the American democratic space, um, I need to remind you about what happened not only with Al Gore, but uh, with Mitt Romney and Obama in 2012. The, interestingly, Mitt Romney had almost the same situation with Al Gore. Uh, in 2012, Mitt Romney had 48% of the popular votes, but he had just 38% of the electoral votes. And so Al Gore, uh, uh, Obama, won because he... he, he, he he, he 
deliberately concentrated on the swing states. And interestingly, uh, so that you understand deeply the, the Electoral College normative, in the state of Florida, you remember the Argo Bush situation. Absolutely. In the state of Florida, um, Bush had a marginal victory. You know, it was just a few uh, percent victory. Uh, but what he did, what they did was to cast, to, to call the 27 electoral votes. I, I think 29. 27. Uh, 27 it's, it's, electoral it's, it's, it's votes. 29. It's, 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 now 29. it's now 29. It's now 29. Yes, it's now okay, 29. Then, uh, Florida and New York, yeah, respectively. You know, then it was 27, and they called it for him, you know. So that's exactly what happens with the electoral, and that's why uh, Hillary Rodham Clinton has been concentrating her electioneering processes and uh, uh, campaign engineering in the swing states. But again, if you look at, uh, at it quickly before we uh, go on our first uh, break here, you look at some of these places. Uh, for instance, California having 55, Texas 38, New York and Florida uh, both po uh, having 29. Uh, what does this mean for these two uh, candidates uh, going for the elections? You know, the, the interesting thing is, I, I think that it's for me exciting that you have to do so much work. You, so much. You not, all, you not only have to concentrate on winning the popular votes, but you have to win the people's representatives impliedly. And uh, I do sincerely think that it is important that, um, uh, and that's why, unfortunately, uh, for uh, Donald Trump, he's complaining that uh, he was thinking that the FBI uh, investigation of the email details of Hillary Clinton would affect. Uh, situations, but just about uh, 24 hours ago, the FBI said there's nothing criminal about her emails, and he's been complaining. The truth is that the target is simply the 15 swing states, and they want the big, the big wins. If you win the big states, you're definitely coasting home. You know, Walker, when we come back, we'll be looking at uh, what uh, the FBI had come up with, uh, looking at the effect of that. Uh, uh, letter written by Comey and see how it affects uh, the voting uh, tomorrow. Uh, if you just join us, it's politics today. We have a whole lot uh, to talk about uh, in so short a time. And uh, by tomorrow, we will have an expanded version for you here. Stay with us. Updates from our reporters. Maria Bird in Washington, D.C. Jewan Kimbaloye in Wisconsin, Ayotunde Balogun in Washington, D.C.